welcome back and welcome to another sort of series talk video. Um, I think I said in my February wrap up um, that I, no, I said in my seven in seven wrap up, February would have been too early, uh, that I was going to do a video talking about this particular series, this particular book, this particular girl. And today I want to talk to you about Geek Girl by Holly Smale. Now, I don't have any physical copies of this book, so you're going to have to put up with my beautiful pictures on my iPad here. Um, I don't have any copies of this particular book because every copy I've had of this book and every copy I've bought and every extra copy that I've bought uh, has been snapped up into the hands of the children that I've taught. Um, it's been a fabulous book and series in that sense because from when the very first book came out I took it into school and um, the children just completely latched onto it. They were passing it around, they were loving it. The boys and the girls, like all of them, were just absolutely loving this book. One of my pupils made a fantastic replica um, I'll try and dig out the picture and put it into a blog post um, because it's amazing. She did a replica of this cover, she wrote out the blurb on the back and then inside she wrote a book review of it which was amazing and I sent a picture to this author and she, she tweeted back which was fantastic. Um, so the, uh, the child was able to have a little mini conversation over Twitter. So I don't have any physical copies of this despite having a signed copy um, but this book follows Harriet Manners and and um, Harriet Manners is a geek, uh, but all of a sudden everything changes when she is discovered by a modelling agency and told that she is the perfect model. Uh, now Harriet Manners has some wonderful friends who are absolute assets to this series. This series would not be the same without them. Uh, her best friend uh, is called Nat and um, at first Nat is a little bit miffed that Harriet has been picked to become a model because that is all Nat wants to do is work in the fashion industry. Um, but Nat will learn that there are other ways to be in the fashion industry other than being a model. Um, we also have Toby who is a bit of a stalker and he is almost as much of a geek as Harriet except he possibly has slightly less common sense than Harriet does. Um, Harriet's dad is also an absolute superstar in this book. Uh, in this whole series. He just provides some serious comedic moments. And I mean, all sorts of 16, 17 year olds are probably a little bit ashamed of their dad. And uh, Mr. Manners has all sorts of, oh, dad moments, um, which really completely make this series. Um, there's also uh, Harriet's stepmom Annabelle who is most definitely the voice of reason in this uh, whole series um, but she also has some comedy moments of her own as well and really sort of comes into her own as the series goes on we're introduced to her a little bit in the beginning and then as the series goes on we kind of understand her role within Harriet's life and within Harriet's dad's life as well for that matter um, then we have Wilbur who is Harriet's agent and again definitely a comedic character. I defy anyone to read the things that Wilbur comes out with and um, not to laugh. Uh, I've listened to a couple of these books on audiobook as well as having obviously bought the physical book for people at school um, and uh, the, <laughs> the things he comes out with when you're listening to it on audiobook really do seem quite incredible. Even so more so incredible than, than when you just read them written on a page. Um, one of the fantastic things about this series is what it says about kind of girl power and feminism and you know strong women and Harriet and Annabelle as well um, really really kind of embody this and kind of show that you know there can be a series about a girl and she's also a model but it's so much more than that. Uh, of course, you know, it being a kind of YA middle grade kind of in between, I would say it kind of straddles both genres really. I mean, probably more YA just because Harriet is 15, 16, 17 as the series goes on. Um, there is also 
of course the possibility of a love interest or two uh, I'm not going to give any spoilers away there but there are some um, really lovely romantic moments in the book sort of surrounding that uh, and there are a couple of other kind of friends and enemies that come and go across the series uh, one of the other fantastic things about uh, this series of books is that Harriet obviously gets to travel for her modelling job and so we get to kind of explore the world with her we get to see her in New York we get to see her in Australia we get to see her in Japan um, we get to see her in Russia um, and so you, you do kind of learn a little bit about all these places because Harriet is obviously a geek and so um, if you ever read the blurb of the first book uh, you will find out that uh, she does like to reel off facts and figures so I defy again anyone to pick up these books and put them down and say they haven't learnt anything over the course of the books the facts in them are amazing they might be misplaced facts and mistimed facts but the facts in them really are amazing and that Harriet's kind of thirst for um, knowledge and thirst for these facts is um, really something else as well. I would so love to meet her in real life. Um, she as a character is just a real pleasure to read about. She's got some really funny moments. She's got some moments that made me cry. She's got some moments where, you know, she does have enemies or she makes enemies. She's got some moments where she doesn't really understand what's going on. But seeing her grow and seeing her change and seeing her kind of discover her identity across the books as the series goes on has just been an absolute pleasure. If you haven't read any of the books in this series, go back, start from the beginning. They're fairly quick reads. Um, and you know you could do, you could probably do one a day and have them all done um, in in no time but you will have an absolute ball of a time and um, if you are an educator definitely get these books in your classroom and uh, if you are an adult or a teenager thinking of picking up these books then definitely definitely do it I couldn't recommend these more they've been such a pleasure to read and I'm so sad that I've come to the end of the series I do have the guide to the order of the books here. So this is the first Geek Girl book. It's just called Geek Girl. Uh, and then um, a Christmas special came out, um, which is Geek Girl 1.5, all wrapped up. This came out after book two and maybe book three had come out. Um, so this is where it fits in the series. And so if you are just starting, you can read them in order. I read this with children at school. We read it in three lunch times. Um, so it's a bit of a novella. And then we have Geek Girl 2, Model Misfit, uh, which is possibly one of my favourites. I really, really liked this book. Uh, I'd kind of waited for it for a little while, so I really enjoyed this one. Uh, and then uh, Holly Smell did um, one of the little books that comes out for World Book Day. Um, I read this on a tube journey. So again, shows you how quickly you could read this one. This is called Geek Girl, Geek Drama, and it's probably only about 60 pages long and quite large print. It was one of the ones that was a pound for world book day so if you can find this somewhere it's not going to be much of an investment for a jolly good time then Geek Girl 3, we had Geek Girl Picture Perfect and there's a little clue as to where Harriet goes in this one in the glasses that she's wearing on the front cover. Then the next Geek Girl is called All That Glitters. When I saw the cover for this one I was like oh my goodness that is so awesome and also I want those glasses. Can you see them? I think they would work. They'd match my lipstick, but I think they definitely work on me. Then the next book was another novella, and it comes in between book four and book five. So this is 4.5. This is Geek Girl Sunny Side Up. So this is set in the summertime. And again, I read this with some children at school, I think again over three lunchtimes. So that gives you an idea of how quickly you could read this one. And then we have Geek Girl Head Over Heels. Again, fabulous glasses. Definitely want these ones. This is the penultimate book in the series. And then finally, you can see the glasses have come down a little bit. I think it's quite symbolic that they've done that. Um, because this is the final chapter in the series. This book did make me cry. And not just because it was the final chapter. This is Geek Girl Forever Geek. And you can see the gorgeous sort of gold lettering. Quite simple. Quite sort of similar to the, the very first cover. But as I say, the glasses have come down a little bit. What could that symbolise, I wonder? Oh, 
such a great series. So yeah, totally love this series, would highly recommend it, whether you're reading it with somebody else or reading it on your own, definitely pick these books up now. If you want to read them out of order, you could do, but the, you, there will be spoilers, so uh, I definitely recommend starting from the beginning. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, sorry it's been a long one, give it a thumbs up, and uh, if you want to see more, then do click the subscribe button, and I will have another video up for you soon, so I will see you then. Bye.